Hi, and welcome back to Milgat Farms, Virginia's only USDA certified organic maple syrup farm. That is a mouthful, I know it. We do make maple syrup in Virginia, and I know it doesn't make sense, but we have the elevation, the trees, and the weather, and we're able to do it. However, today on the farm, we're not making maple syrup or even anything maple related. We're gonna be installing something really cool. It's a wireless access point by Wavelength, right here, okay? It's neat, it really is, and it's so simple to install. I want to share it with you. They reached out to me and said, would you like to try this out on your farm? And I said, yeah, I would definitely love to try that out. We have a garden from the house down the hill about 200 meters. And this is within the range of that 200 meters. How cool would it be to be able to communicate from here to the garden? So that you know, we don't live in an area with cell reception. And with that being said, we don't have connectivity throughout our farm. Now we do enjoy a lot of that disconnectivity, if you will. But every now and again, how cool would it be to be able to, to talk to, say, Emily down in the garden or Emily over working with some of the animals or myself doing some work somewhere on the farm? This device, I think, is going to solve that problem. Now, one of my neighbors called me not too long ago and said, hey, Kevin, I remember you talking about these wireless devices. And would you be willing to come over and help me, on, help me get one set up on my, my place? He's building a house about 200 meters behind his property on the backside not really his property, but the neighbor's property, but you can see it, line of sight, 200 meters, that's it. So today we're gonna to go over and install this device at his house, and I'm gonna show you how easy it is to do. It's really easy to install. You have a little white box with a switch that's on or off. In that box, you've got power that goes into it, that needs to be plugged into the wall. Then you're gonna connect that box directly to your router. Out of the other side is the PoE, or power over ethernet cable, and we're going to run that out to the device itself, which is the antenna that we're going to use to point to the house. Oh yeah, that's going to work. Oh, check that out. Hmm. I'll tell you what, that's quality right there. There you go. There's more for your re review. That is perfect. All right. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stick that guy in there like that. Come over here. That's gonna be here. I'm gonna keep the moisture out. Aw, Kevin, you're an idiot. I need to do. That goes on first. Then this goes on. Can't be this simple, but I bet you it is. This is nice. I like this thing. I like it a lot, especially since he's easy permanent mounting there too with <laughs> screw slots. How do you want it? Oh, that. Okay. I wonder. What I want you to do <clears throat> is move your truck. Yep. And we'll go for a ride. Do you wanna you wanna drive up in your truck? Or you wanna drive in the side by side? Alright. What we did was a temporary installation with the Cat 6 cable. It runs along the house, goes inside. Later, Brent's going to take it and punch it through the wall, and then it's going to be more of a permanent installation. We've got it upside down because we don't want to do anything with the cable. We're aiming it right up there at his building site. Let's go up there and see if it's going to work. Where's Hank? You see Hank? Yeah, he's in here. Oh, okay. <laughs> that works too. He likes to ride. Admin, not less than six characters. Can I make this the same as the? I guess I can. Yeah, I can. I'll just make it the same as your Wi-Fi password. Okay. Let's do that. Okay. So we go. So we don't need a receiver up here with that thing. I don't. If, if we can stand on this porch and get cell reception, no. 
The wavelength is all the way down there, right beside the side-by-side -side in that red car. And it's beaming up in this direction. And so far we've got four bars. That is amazing. All right, I like to use speedtest.net. Let's give it a go and see what it does. Fifty-one down and eleven up. So let's go see what the house is doing. Right now, I'm on the side of the house, and we're going to check and see what his Wi-Fi is inside. On this particular test, we got 51 down and 7.8 up. It's probably off a little bit. I'm standing outside and it's going through a wall, but it's working, it's working really well. A quick side note, I took a picture of me unboxing it, but somehow I lost the footage. I'm really sorry about that. Inside the box was an accessory kit, which came for all the little pieces part that we needed, even some really cool industrial two-sided tape. I didn't want to share that. I didn't want to give it to him, but I'm going to give it to him. But it's really, really good stuff. It came with a couple straps. I probably won't use those. I'd prefer to use a hose clamp. That way I can take it off very easily. But their clamps are really, really nice. They're stainless steel, and I know that thing's not going anywhere. We're going to eventually mount that thing to a, a wall, like, like a post like this, pointing up in that direction where that house was, and it's going to do just fine. The quick start guide is really, really simple. All the directions are there, very easy to follow. In fact, I didn't even use it. When we got up to house and we accessed the network through my iPad, I looked at it, saw the network, clicked on it, and that's when I had to add the word admin. That was the first password to get in. Once I was in, I added a password that was very similar to the one that they had down at their house. That way everything is the same. It only took about a minute and when it did, we started texting each other. So it worked, it worked really well. In fact, I didn't use the quick start guide at all. How cool is that? Now, even though I had the quick start guide, I didn't use it. It was so easy to set up. All I had to do was put that admin password in, create my own password, and voila, it was working. How cool is that? So it was approximately about 200 meters from the base point where we set it up to the house itself, and you could, it just worked. It worked so easy. So I, re I really would recommend this. I can't wait to get one from my farm. I'm gonna leave that one over at Brent's house and I'm gonna order one for myself, believe it or not. So I'm gonna put it here and we may put one or two on the outside of the house so we can shoot that down in different places. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Right down there is a remnant of my greenhouse and my garden. I'd like to shoot it down there. The house that Brent's was about the same distance so I'm pretty sure it's gonna work. If we look over there, there's my chickens. I don't know if you caught a video of me stuck in that building, but one day I got stuck in that building. It was kind of funny. I went in to get the turkey and the door shut and in I was. <laughs> I didn't get to go out. But all of that down there is between two and 300 meters and this device is supposed to work within that range. I have to say all in all, it was a really easy install. If I can do it, you can do it. It's super, super simple. I highly recommend this. I can't wait to get another one or two for the farm and we'll have Wi-Fi just around the house. Mind you, you can see there's nothing here. There is no cell reception here. And there's definitely no Wi-Fi outside until we get one of these devices. I am gonna leave a link in the description below. It's an Amazon link. It's an affiliate link, and that means I get like a penny or two if you ever buy one. But if you do, let me know that you did it because I think these things are cool. I think it's gonna work really well here in our farm and also think it'll work well for you too. So thanks a lot for watching our video. Do consider giving us a thumbs up and until next time, God bless you.